The box was constructed of plywood and steel. The steel edges were designed in CAD and cut with a CNC plasma cutter. What appear to be decorative rivets are actually small screws. The edging holds the box together, allowing for complete disassembly of the box for repair, service, or expansion of capability. The hinge was also fabricated from plasma cut parts, and the hinge barrel was hand forged to shape. The plywood box panels were coated in a sealant and painted matte black. Graphics were printed on a laser printer and adhered to the panels. Transparent sealant was sprayed over the panels to protect the graphics and allow them to blend into the background. A fused switch was used on the box exterior for safety. This fed 110 volts AC to the power supply, which had 12 and 5 volt outputs. The 12 volt output powered the microcontroller and the solenoid box latch, while the 5 volt output powered the servos. The microcontroller was an Arduino Uno. The Arduino is the main controller for reading the rotary encoder and timing the popping action, sounds, and servo actions. Servos were controlled via pulse width modulation. Sounds were stored on and played back by the Lilypad MP3 player. Custom PCBs were designed in Eagle CAD and fabricated by a CNC mill. The board was milled so that only the copper traces remained and holes were drilled for components. <laughs> Doll movement is powered by four micro servos in the arms and legs and a full rotation servo in the waist. One requirement of the project was to have a pseudo-random aspect of the programming. We created five playback routines for when the box opens. The microcontroller picks a random number and plays back the corresponding show. Each show has its own separate corresponding audio track. The length of time it takes for the box to pop is also determined randomly, in some length of time between 5 and 10 seconds. Another requirement was that the speed at which the crank handle music plays must be proportional to the speed of the crank. We used a rotary encoder and the controller measures the time between pulses. The controller would then calculate the velocity and choose the tempo that was within that range. A dual post system was used to facilitate the popping action. The use of two posts prevents the platform from rotating inside the box, and the large diameter ensures that the mechanism will last. The platform is lifted with a 25 pound compression spring. A support rod is attached to the platform, lifting the lid and preventing the 25 pounds of force from crushing the doll. The latch consists of a 12 volt solenoid in conjunction with a spring and stopping plate. The catch on the lid pushes the solenoid pin out of the way and the spring latches the lid closed. The pin is pulled back when the solenoid is activated, allowing the lid to spring open.